आगे चल गया ओके नाउ द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम जून 19 एंड इट इज आवर वेरिएंट वेरिएंट 32 वी हैव टू वी आर टोल्ड दैट नॉट टू यूज कैलकुलेटर एट ऑल ओके सो अ वन मार्क क्वेश्चन इट सेज वन ऑफ द रूट्स uh the complex roots of this equation is minus 1 plus under root 3 iota so we have to write down another root so that is obviously going to be its conjugate pair okay and that will be uh that will be minus 1 minus under root 3 iota okay okay the next part find the value of k and the other root of this equation you see that there are six marks for uh this part okay so uh now how to find the value of k this is just like the case now suppose if you have an equation which is um, let me make some space here for this um yeah okay so now uh suppose you have an equation which is x square plus 5x plus k that is equal to 0 and you know that x equal to 1 is one of the roots of this equation so uh, a root can always be <coughs> substituted into uh, its equation a root is also called the zero of this equation okay so when you put this as one here so you see that this is how you get your value of k which is going to be minus 6 so we are going to do the same in this case and we shall substitute this uh, uh, given root into this equation okay and so that we can find this uh, <coughs> um, uh, value of this k okay so yeah i just want to see that what is that root okay uh, okay so uh the root we have is minus 1 plus on root 3 i iota so i will be substituting that into this equation okay so this is going to be k into minus 1 plus on root 3 i iota Plus five into minus one plus under root three iota plus ten into minus one plus under root three iota plus four that is equal to zero. Okay, there is a cube over here and there is a square over here. And for the cube, you can always uh, apply the binomial theorem, or you can just remember that if there is Uh, a plus b whole cube, so that is a cube plus three a square b plus three a b square plus b cube. That is, we we're getting this through the uh, binomial theorem. Okay, so there are two people waiting. Let me make them enter. Okay, now <clears throat> so going back to the solution. So let's write it down quickly. that we have k into this is minus 1 cube is going to be minus 1 plus 3 into minus 1 square is 1 into this under root 3 iota and then we have uh, 3 into a so that will be minus 3 into b square that will give me 3 iota square and then we have b cube so remember this under root 3 cube is going to be 3 under root 3 okay so you can um, see that this is basically under root 3 into under root 3 into under root 3 so this is going to be 3 under root 3 so this is 3 under root 3 and there is iota cube with this okay then we have 5 into um this um, a plus b whole square this is 1 minus 2 under root 3 iota and then plus 3 iota square okay you can just keep it in your mind this is under root 3 iota minus 1 whole square so that is a square you can apply that a square minus a minus b whole square okay now the next one is now you please keep an eye i 
normally make mistakes while expanding or simplifying. So keep an eye on this solution here. And this is plus four that is equal to zero. Okay, now inside uh, th this first expression is going to give us, <clears throat> this is going to give us K into, now this is minus one and this is um, uh, three iota squared is minus three. So that is going to give us plus nine from here, minus one plus nine. So I'm just going to cut, it, cut them down the ones that I have simplified. So this is going to give me three under root three iota. This is going to give me minus three under root three iota. Remember iota cube is, iota cube is minus iota. Iota square is minus one, okay? Okay, so they will be canceled afterwards. Then we have plus five. And here you have one, and this three, three iota squared is minus three, and you have minus two under root three iota. Then we have minus 10 plus four, let me write it as minus six, and plus 10 under root three iota, that is equal to zero. Okay, so I have now here eight K, and this is minus two. So minus 10, minus 10 under root three iota, minus six plus 10 under root three iota, that is equal to zero. So 10 under root three iota is canceled with this. So we have 8K minus 16 equal to zero, 8K equal to 16, and your K is two. So we, we haven't uh, got the solution completed yet, okay? We have got the value of K, okay? Any questions so far? Okay, so we, we just got the value of K, which is two. Now it says we have to find the third root of the equation as well, okay? So now one of the roots of this equation, now this, this case has to be changed with two over here, okay? So this is going to be two X Q plus this, this, this. Okay, now one of the roots is, you have one root, which is minus one plus under root three iota. The other root is minus one minus under root three iota. If you remember that I have told you many a times that if there are two roots of an equation, one is x equal to alpha, the other is x equal to beta, this leads to x minus alpha into x minus beta equal to zero. And then this becomes x squared minus alpha plus beta x, and then plus alpha beta. So this is how you can quickly get to the equation whose roots have been given to you. So you know that these are the two roots. So let's find the sum. The sum of these two roots is going to be minus two. And then you see the product. For the product, you can apply a plus b into a minus b. So you will get that as one plus three, and that will be equal to four. So the, uh, the quadratic equation, which has these two roots is going to be x squared plus 2x plus 4, that is equal to 0. Now, this is the quadratic part of this cubic equation. How can I get to the, uh, the remaining linear factor of this cubic polynomial? Hmm? Any idea? Yes, Mr. Please yes. Do what? Sir, long division. Yeah, the, the long division is the quickest way over here. Otherwise, you could have applied the remainder factor theorem as well. Okay. So, this is going to be. Uh, in fact, I think the remainder factor theorem could have been a better option. Chale, I have just started it. So, let's do that. Uh, so, this is x squared plus 2x plus 4. Okay. So, x squared into 2x will give me 2x cubed plus 4x squared plus 8x. You know, just one more step and we'll be there. Okay, so this is x squared plus 2x plus yes. So we got it. This is going to be x squared plus 2x plus 4. So here we are. 
this is cancelled. So that means the the linear partner of this uh, cubic division is going to be this. So the third root is x equal to minus half. Can a cubic equation have uh, three complex roots? No. Hmm? No, it's never. The complex roots always exist as a pair, okay? So there can be two complex roots and one real root for this. Okay, now let's see what's in the next part. 